Hey YouTube, Logan's Homestead here. And um, today we're in here churning butter. Uh, me and baby girl. I talked her into helping me. She's in here. Okay. This is our uh, Daisy or Dazzy butter churn. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Y'all see the words right there? Good and warm. Just got it out of the dish water. I have some heavy cream. This is heavy whipping cream. Cut from the Kroger. And uh, baby girl's just going to pour it in there. This is skill sets, y'all, okay? This is pure skill sets. Uh, this here butter churn, by the way, all of it. This here butter churn come um, um, from a relative. They went and, uh, go ahead and start on the They went and got it from somebody's house. Uh, they were just cleaning up or whatever. And uh, we got this here churn. And we're just pouring all that cream in there. This is half a gallon of cream. About as full as you want to get these churned. This is not homegrown, homemade stuff, okay? I mean, you know, this ain't this didn't come from a homemade cows or goats or anything. But it's skill sets, okay? I mean, butter's simple. It's the simplest, one of the simplest dairy products, you know, homemade. And she's putting the churn in there. I'm surprised she knows how to do it. She had never done it before. All right, don't get my face in there, babe. Just hold that right there. All right, I'm just going to attach this here churn, the top of the churn down it's not all the way this is just kill sets having trouble getting it on there but i think it's good and this is what we're doing and it's just churning the butter and it will eventually coagulate and uh the butter will separate from the butter milk as it as you churn it like this keep doing this for like 20 or 30 minutes and we'll just keep on doing it I'm gonna get the camera and she's gonna do it a while just like that and you can't really see in here well you might can from the top right here that's what we want it to do and we're just gonna keep on turning this and we'll be back later on whenever we're about all right, now it's starting to harden up. You notice how it was so easy a while ago? Now I'm going to show y'all how hard it is to turn. A while ago, it was it was turning easy. You know, you could just run and run and run. I got it. But now it's starting to get really thick. And I'm going to try to see if I can't open this up. Uh, there's a secret to do it like that. And you can see the you can see the cream in there, and it's just churning up all around. And you can tell it's starting to get thick, but it ain't quite there yet. So we want to keep on churning it until we get somewhere. So we'll be back whenever we get ready to made into butter. All right, um, I got the butter made now, and I might as well take this handle off. You go from cream. Then you get this whipped cream consistency in about 20 minutes or so. And then after that, it goes to completely to butter. But that's it's like whipped cream now. Or it was. But I've been doing this now for about 45 minutes. That's a long time. I'm going to set you right here while I open the uh, butter jar. And uh, open it just like this. I know you can't see. But look down in there. Is pure butter and buttermilk. We got butter, baby. We got butter. All right. Now what I got to do? Look at that. Pure butter right there. Wonderful, wonderful butter. That is butter. Mm, and it's gonna be so good. But we gotta wash it. We have to strain our buttermilk off, and then we wash it. Now to do that, I'll need a bowl. So I'll be back. All right, I got it strained off. That is a ton of butter and all that buttermilk right there. And I got back in the churn. To wash it, you want to use cold water. This here water is like cold, cold. Like, mate, as soon as it comes out the tap, like 50 degrees or whatever. And what is going to be good is uh, I'm just going to put this cold water and I'm just going to put this butter. If I could do it one-handed. Should have probably break some. And I'm just going to put it. 
in here. If excuse the racket in the background, farm girl and baby girl is playing a game. So uh, I'm just gonna get all of this right here. Get all that put in there. Look at that, just pure butter. And you wanna wash it. Okay. Now this buttermilk is a pure buttermilk. And you don't want to discard that. You want to use it for making biscuits or what have you. Put the lid back on it. And then we'll just start turning it again, okay? And we'll wash it. Alright, well I got it made and I got about pound, pound and a half, pound and a half to a pound and three quarters of good rich butter. We worked it out on like the pan and the bowl and it's a mess. Um, you know, get the rest of the cold water out. If you had cheesecloth, I should. I need to have cheesecloth. I know every homestead should have cheesecloth, but I do not have cheesecloth right now, and I couldn't. I didn't have a good way to strain it. With cheesecloth, you just and I washed it twice in the water to get any hint of buttermilk out, which would cause it to spoil quick. But look at all that buttermilk. Mmm. Put -mm. something about your pancakes or biscuits, whatever. And I just made some biscuits while I go. I should have made the butter first. I've had fresh butter to spread it. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to it so it'll be salted. I like butter salted. Everybody has their own preferences. You just salt it to taste, which is very simple. You just mix it up. I'm not going to put much salt in it, but that's all I'll do. And then I'll get this sitting in the refrigerator, and that'll be our butter bowl for the week. All right. Everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you learned some skill sets. If you've never made butter before, I hope this has encouraged you to make to do so. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. God bless y'all. Y'all come back now here.